Today we're going to talk about a drip irrigation system that you can put in your garden for free. This is a look at my small, modest garden, although I do have a few other plants around the yard. And sometimes you never know when a plant's going to come up. In the case of this tomato, my dad used to call them volunteer tomatoes. If you look back here, I've got some cucumbers. I think they're straight eights, although I planted three different times this year and they finally came up. That is a sunflower seed mixed in with a cucumber, and that down there at the end is too. Right there. So, um, other than that, I've got some jalapeno pepper plants back through here. I've got some tomatoes of different types. This is an early girl, tall, leggy plant. I've also uh, got uh, some bush goliath, these two right here. I really like the bush goliath because they stay put. Um, I, I put these in from little seedlings and uh, took a couple months to grow here in Georgia. We have a good growing season. Another early girl, and this is a better boy. So that's a better boy right there. And that's actually a better boy right there, mixed in with that early girl, two early girls in the end. Uh, just a little bit more look around the garden. These are those jalapeno plants and also scattered in some other jalapeno seeds. That's what you see growing down there. And I've got some squash coming up. Uh, and about to bear, or they are bearing, and we'll be frying some squash here soon. This is a bell pepper plant. I picked two off of it, getting too much shade on that one down there, but it had two on it. We ate with pizza for dinner, and uh, picked one off of that one. That was my first two things to come in. But the main thing I wanted to talk to you about was my irrigation system that I just put in just literally minutes ago. My air conditioning unit is up there in the front yard right behind those bushes right up in there and for years right in here has been getting just soaked because that's where the condensation's going as i said we live in georgia so you get a lot of condensation that comes out of your unit and i'm blessed in a way to do a drip irrigation system from this because it's all downhill as you can see and yep my retaining wall has been leaning for 20 years don't mind about that the brick one's solid but anyway the drip irrigation system i just extended the pvc pipes my neighbor up there gave me pvc pipes he had a bunch of extra and all i had to do was buy some of these fittings here an elbow over here an elbow over here some straight throughs a 45 here a 45 up there and all i did was start drilling a small 330 seconds hole everywhere I wanted a drip. So now as you can see on this pepper plant I've got a drip. I really wanted to water my tomatoes and I've got a drip right here coming in and watering this tomato plant. Another hole there, another hole there, and then I let it run in the end right between those to provide some water to that group of tomato plants there. And believe it or not that 332nd hole is doing all it needs to do to let just a little water out every location so my water source of course is free because it's condensation it's chemical free because there's no chemicals in the condensation condensated water and it should do great for this garden these that you see down here are ashes i like to put that in there they're high in nitrogen comes out of my kamado joe smoker and I don't use lighter fluid in that. You wouldn't want to do that. But that's just some tips on the garden. You'll see I've got tomatoes. Still be a few weeks away. This uh, early girl plant right here. Got a few on it. The bush goliath. What's it doing? I think I saw it. There's a tiny one on it in there now. It's the first year I've really grown different varieties of tomatoes. We'll see how they do. All right. If you want to see how I stake my tomatoes. Take a look at this. I had these, well, I staked them with wire baskets, but they outgrew that. I staked them with these leftover citronella rods that I'm recycling in my garden. Tore up a t-shirt and I've tied around them so they'll stay close to those poles. And I'm gonna groom those tomatoes a little further. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great summer.